Pisces, what a lovely heart you have. Um, it's just so filled with hope. The implication here is that, you know, there's been some sort of heartbreak or disappointment, but you're trying to find the best in the situation. And you have, you have a, a great deal of um, happiness inside of your soul that is helping to um, sort of buffer or cradle uh, comfort or heal your heart. Your focus is on seeing the best in this situation. So that the implication is that the situation is not ideal. Um, but but your heart is so pure, it's so true. It wants to see the best in the situation. It wants it, it's 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 optimistic. You're 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 being optimistic, um, because to be any other way would literally lead to utter and total complete emotional collapse. And you know yourself well enough to know that, and you're like, I'm not going there. I'm, I can't let that happen to me. There's also an implication that there is wonderful stuff that is happening to you. So it's not, it's not like you just have to focus on the bad stuff, right? If you can't, you do have good stuff to focus on, and you're choosing optimism. You're choosing to focus on the stuff that puts a smile on your face. I don't. I know for a fact that there's part of your heart that is suffering. I can feel it. And honestly, I, I, I'm right there with you. I, 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 there's the Mercury retrograde is going to make it even worse because even if you don't hear from your ex right now, it's almost like all those feelings are going to be coming up for your ex and they could be confusing things and getting in your way um, and making it extra difficult for you to enjoy the opportunities that are right there for you. But you are, you are trying every morning you get up and you are putting your best foot forward. So I love you and I'm so proud of you. Pisces, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, if you love this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that bell and hit all notifications. I upload Pisces along with Aquarius and Capricorn every single Wednesday. Check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign video so that you have a really well-rounded understanding of the and all the energies that are going to be impacting you right now. Um, Pisces, um, there's always an extended reading. If you want to uh, continue this journey with me, uh, you always have the option for a little to, for us to spend a little more time together, as well as your romance reading. It's two readings in one video, and that link is always below. Um, you can subscribe to that channel as well. You can subscribe directly to Vimeo too, which I encourage you to do. Um, yeah, Pisces, let's just get into let's get into everything. These are the cards that I'm looking at. These are your Lenormand cards and they're, they're very beautiful. You know, this is good luck and this is dreams, hopes, aspiration in your spirituality. So it's almost like there is a beautiful, hopeful sense of, I'm going to look at the positive. I'm going to only think of the positive. There is also luck and, and there, there is abundance. So let's get into your reading Pisces. This reading is for Pisces. It's no particular time stamp, but I do a new reading every single week for you guys. So tune in. Um, intuition. Trust your intuition. Uh, so this is coming up in the past. And I'm not surprised because it's almost like the past, the future, and present is all kinds of like, like thrown together right now. Pisces. I'm also not surprised there's a bunch of optimism in your soul right now because Jupiter is in... Um, Jupiter is in your sign of Pisces, uh, along with Neptune. For right now, uh, Jupiter goes into retrograde a little bit later in the month. But for right now, everything is direct. And I think calm and really encouraging the sense of it will get better. I, I, you know, maybe I'm not even expecting or hoping, but it will, it will get better. Um, there's this, this, this sense of something about your past. Intuitively, I think somehow you somehow know that you're going to hear from your past or that you're going to have to confront your past. And it's, it's, it's almost like there's a sense of preparing yourself to do so. Uh, trust your intuition. You, you know, part of this optimism and part of the, the, the luck or success or opportunities that are breaking through right now is because you allowed yourself to be guided by 
your intuition, by your instincts and by your psyche. And this is a, a deep connection and a deep knowing. Um, you kind of understand the flow because you connected to it a while ago. A uh, creative wonderment, follow your passion. It's, it's a healing aspect for you. It's a healing place for you. If you feel at home anywhere, it's in getting lost in your own imagination and creating directly from your imagination. So this is life-saving grace for you. And I also think that intuitively you connected yourself to something through your creativity. And there's, there's something, something like it's almost like um, a creative project is coming to fruition. And that is definitely a source to make your soul feel good, even if there are parts of it that are crying as we speak. Um, maybe people who once were strangers are now becoming something more, making new friends, starting to feel at home in a new life or in a new group amongst new people that once upon a time you didn't know. There are barriers here. Um, maybe that's the problem. Could be financial barriers um, that are causing you a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of stress. But in some ways, it could be your friends that are helping you out during this time or just a sense of connectivity, realizing that we're kind of all in this together, quote unquote, like not to sound stereotypical, but we are kind of all in this together, Pisces. And even though there could be um, um, obstacles, financial obstacles right now, nobody is judging you for it because everybody's kind of in the same boat. At least everybody that you're around, you're, you're around like-minded souls and people in a similar situation than you. So there's a lot of empathy here um, and a lot of compassion that's surrounding you, making the situation easier and friendlier. Pisces, what messages want to come out for Pisces? Oh, beautiful. I will forgive. This is all in the past. Um, I will forgive is upside down and I feel peaceful. However, it's almost like in some ways you decided to not let go of something. You decided that um, you felt more peaceful. Um, you felt more peaceful um, holding on to. Um, I, now, this, now this could be just you wouldn't give up on something, right? Um, and I feel transformed. Um, and because of it, you're starting to see success somehow. Um, you are you are changed. Um, this could also definitely be letting go of the past. If I don't take this card in reverse, which I usually don't, there's just this aspect of once I untether myself from the past or accept that I have feelings for the past and I'm just honoring those feelings, there's a sense of peace, finding a sense of peace through forgiveness, um, through letting letting the past go. Um, or, or in some, maybe in some cases, real, you know, letting the past go, I feel transformed. Oh, like a weight has been lifted up and off you. Okay, Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? Accelerated motion. There was, this is almost like my comic card. Something came out of the blue and hit really hard. Um, what was this? Can you please, what is going on for Pisces, please? Pisces. Okay, all this turned over. Um, all right, uh, something came out of the blue. Uh, something hit you hard, something, something that might have actually sideswiped you. And it was hard for you to forgive. That's why I think the card came out upside down because you felt really fucking betrayed. Um, but there's a sense of now that you have access to forgiveness, this tragedy, this moment, this surprise attack, almost like a tower moment, um, it doesn't feel as bad as it did. You're starting to show signs of feeling recovery, um, recovered from that heavy hit that you had to take. Intuition is coming out again. Uh, so there's this strong sense of intuition. I feel like now that it's coming out, it's like you knew this was coming. And maybe you tried to hide it from yourself or you tried to like um, ignore it, you know, and just try to like live in the moment and enjoy what you had. Intuitively, I think you're starting to come into con communion with yourself though. And you're starting to realize the truth is I knew this was going to happen. And by attaching yourself to that Pisces, by t attaching yourself to what you already knew in the past and being honest with yourself and true to yourself, finally, you're starting to make sense of the situation and that's helping you to forgive and sort of reconcile with the situation. Intuitively, you already knew. And then there's hope. 
There's hope rising out of this connection, reconnectivity to your past and to what you did know. Um, realizing that there was there, um, it's it's just kind of giving you more faith in yourself. You might have lost faith in yourself. Um, this whole situation may have made you feel really degraded and uh, sad, lonely. Um, but there's so much hope once you reconnect to yourself. Because when you reconnect to yourself, you reconnect to God. And then we have emotional withdrawal. Yeah. Um, uh, emotional withdrawal. Yeah. I understand. I get it. And this isn't even necessarily depression so much as it's just you need a time alone, especially by the sea. I love that this card came out for you because I know that being by water, by the ocean is a very healing place for you. And I feel like something has happened all of a sudden that is catalyzing your wanting to confront something you've been avoiding. And that could be this beautiful opportunity. I don't know whether it's love, romance, projects, whatever it is. There's a beautiful opportunity that's come in to you and, and now it's sort of inspiring you to rectify your connection with the past or wanting to let go. I'm not saying it's going to come quickly, but giving yourself some space and time by the water to help purify you will help you accept and handle this emotional loss that you're experiencing right now. It's an emotional loss. You know, that feeling of feeling good, that feeling of somebody makes us feel so good. They make us feel so loved and all of a sudden they're not there. There's such a sadness here. It's it's good that it's pointing out it's emotional because, you know, it means in terms of finances and stuff, everything is you everything is okay. Like you the only thing that isn't okay is that this emotional loss is making is taking so much of your energy. <laughs> that um, stuff that was okay in terms of finances is now might be getting to you a little bit more. But ultimately, I think you can brave that rough. You can handle it as long as you're really letting yourself feel your pain, feel your sorrow. Um, but all, and yeah, and as you feel it, you'll you'll see that you're actually starting to heal it. But take some time for yourself, please. That's what the cards are saying. Pisces, Pisces. Um, your hard work is paying off. This is coming out in reverse. So what does that mean? It kind of means that you you feel like, it's almost like you feel like you're in a rut or you're stuck or how could I be back here again? Like, why did this happen to me again? I thought I knew better. What what What's going on? How can this be real? All of those, all of those things are like, but I put so much work in. So this is the thing to focus on the work itself, to focus on how much you enjoy doing it instead of the outcome or the payback, right? Um, and if you're doing work that isn't the payback in and of itself, then you're doing the wrong work. And maybe that's what you're starting to realize. Um, conclusions are within reach. So this happened around the eclipse, uh, full moon eclipse. Yeah. Um, this is very important energy. We're in eclipse season now. We had a new moon eclipse and we had a solar eclipse. Um, this is full moon eclipse. It's just saying that something all of a sudden had to be pushed out of your life. That's what it's saying. And it's coming out in the past. So you lost something that was very important to you. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So, um, Something had to be pushed out of your life to make room for something new coming into your life. Um, this is, but it's also telling me it had to do more about love. Unfortunately, uh, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? A truth about love, a truth about who you love, a truth of just a comeuppance about a situation that you're in that's really, really damaging for you or really was really hard for you. Um, it, it, it's it's just this sense of like needing to still cry. Like I can almost picture you in a situation where you met somebody that's really exciting to you, but then you, you ghosted them because you just weren't ready for their soul. You weren't ready. You weren't ready to be happy again. You weren't ready to love again. Um, but there's something, uh, there's a connection here. There's a, there's a, there's a connection here and it, and it's all it, trust it, trust it. Let it at least inspire you to search for healing. Pisces, 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 Pisces. This is really cute. This is really lovely energy. Um, don't sweat the small stuff. 
So those little tedious things that are just threatened to almost like break the camel's back, um, the last straw type of thing, just don't like let them roll off your back, like water off a duck's back. This, this, the small shit is like, it's almost like you're starting to realize all the little crap didn't really matter. What really mattered was, was the, was the happiness, was the joy. Um, and it's almost like even if you've lost that happiness and joy, you're starting to realize the importance of focusing on it when you have it in your life. And then we have clear the fog. So this is coming up in the future Pisces, but it's saying that you're moving toward understanding, realizing, and also having hope again. And, and the hope card is right here. Yeah, they're kind of lost in the fog right now. That's what happens when you're sort of like in emotional turmoil. And yet, Pisces, you have this beautiful way to exhaust some of that chaotic energy inside of you, to sort of burn it off. Pisces, what is going on? Oh, you're ready to say goodbye. And it's coming out near clear of the fog. So it's, then, it's, it's, a, it's like, it's like you're, in the future, you're going to be able to finally realize what that you had to let go of something and that you're, you're missing an opportunity that's sort of like sitting right above your head. It may not be coming from a place that you had, like, it's almost like you, you didn't give any much value to the place that it's coming from, but it's the most valuable thing that you've ever had that's ever happened to you. And you really need to turn around and look at it because it's like, you're ready to say goodbye to the old things, the things that you used to find so attractive, you don't anymore. And then you're just like willing for willing to now see uh, abundance in a different space. So that's kind of what it is. This whole situation had to happen, had to hurt you in order to force you to, into seeing things that you, you weren't seeing. <sighs> Nature is here. Nature is about getting back to your whole self, your complete self. It's, it's hard for you to trust. You're still holding yourself away from uh, the full experience of life because your um your you you want to hold yourself back from it um it's scary the there's old emotions that are still holding you back right so even if you met like your perfect lover today you you wouldn't be able to indulge in it i'm not saying it's even a romance situation but it, but just use this as a metaphor um you wouldn't be able to really trust because you're not ready emotionally but you want to be ready. There's now an enticement to get ready. Listen to your heart. It's speaking to you, Pisces. This is your intuition. That's your heart. Your heart is sort of the um, the um, the speaker system for your soul. So please listen to your heart because your luck has just changed. And it's closer to who you really are, the sincere you, getting back to the real, the real you. In some ways, I feel like maybe you're trying too hard to fit in or be what people expect of you. But what's the real you? What is the, what is the truth about your character and your nature? Not what you think you have to be to fit in. This is kind of you starting to like be able to shake off a little bit. Um, be able to see your ridiculous, be able to see maybe the, the stupid sacrifices you made um, and be able to like get comfortable being comfortable in your own skin again. This is just emotional struggles. You're going to have to take a leap of faith. Um, you don't have to do anything, but that's sort of your first step out of um, trusting that there's something good that wants to happen for you, but the true you. Not the flamboyant you, not the not the crazy you, not the, not even the hopeful you. Um, I know all those are parts of you, but there's just a sense of you have invented somebody that you have been being, and now you have to go back to being your true self. Um, and now you can. This is your time, and this is why it all happened to you, because there was insincerity about the the situation. It, it, situations that are sincere don't end. You, that, that, that aren't 
situations that are sincere are not going to be attacked by Pluto and Saturn in retrograde. It's those things that aren't really sincere to our soul that is ending. Round and round, something about a karmic cycle, something that you maybe have not learned. It's like spirit has been trying to teach you, but you weren't you didn't you weren't really picking up what spirit was putting down. And now you are come to the edge. You've been forced all the way to the edge. You've been forced to the extreme. And this extreme is making you see something very clearly that you hadn't before. Tick tock. Time was running out. Time was running out or it took you a long time to be able to see deep knowing. Uh, deep knowing. It, it took you a while to like, aha. And it took you being pushed to the edge for to make you realize this. What is this? What is this a deep knowing of? Guys, uh, please join me on Instagram, born underscore without underscore boundaries. Monday through Friday, I go live and I'd love to have your voice join me there. Um, and then I also uh, post those to my second astrology channel. It's called Astrology Motivation. I post a lot of great content over there. I hope that you'll find it and go like it and subscribe it as well. As subscribe to subscribe to that channel as well, Pisces. What, uh, Waterman and Terminally. Um, where is the deep? Well, the deep knowing is coming through being able to de-stress. This could also mean that you were working really high pressured for a while, and now you get to um, now you get to like lay back for a while. Um, watermelon tourmaline stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. This is essential. Please don't use work as a means of escape. Please don't even use creativity as a means of escape, as a means of purging and helping you to work through this. Yes, but sometimes we use work as a means to escape our emotions. You need to be in a place and get yourself in a place where you can process your emotions because right now that's exactly what you need in order to be able to move forward. Let's get to your animal totems. Um, why are they important? Because they are the symbols and the way that the universe is, you, they are the universe communicating to you through the natural world. That's what an animal totem is. So when you see these signs, these symbols, pictures, images of this animal or the animal itself, especially then, please pay careful attention to everything that's happening in that moment and remember these messages that came out. So what are your animal totems for right now? You have two of them. Sweet results await. So stuff that you are, have worked for, good stuff is happening. Like this is, this is because only, only the busy bee gets the honey. Okay, and you're now life is sweet, like you're starting to taste some honey. So B, remember to be vitalized, remember to be confident. That's also very Leo energy. It's like very sunshiny, very hopeful, very confident. It's almost like the busy bee, keeping itself busy, keeping itself busy. Take a leap of faith. Wow, you have two very bountiful, abundant, beautiful energy cards. So this is, guess what? Take a leap in faith, a faith in something. Maybe even take a leap of faith in new work. Um, I don't want you to throw yourself into new work, but it's almost like getting offered new work, getting a lucky chance, a lucky breakthrough. It's like abundance is coming to you. Um, wow. So maybe somebody is actually seeing you and recognizing your work and now you have an opportunity. You're going to jump on it because you want to remain positive. You know, you want to remain um, in, in motion right now. Uh, Pisces, these are your angel messages. We'll get to the tarot soon, um, but this is this is words from your angels. Do it now. First card. Do it now. Oh, yeah, you really are. Something is paying off. Something that you've been working really hard on. Um, do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition. What? Oh my God, for it is the guiding voice of your soul. What have you been, you, you haven't been doing it. What haven't you been doing? You've been stopping. You've been, you've been, you've been holding back. Don't hold back any longer. It's time. It's time to take this leap of faith. And then we have determination, Perse determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome by not giving up. It's almost like you may have to push yourself over this threshold a little bit, Pisces, because the emotionally sad part of you wants to not do it. But do it. 
because you're going to find so much better on the other side. Achievement. Take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honor and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. Okay, wow. You're ready for this. Accept this. Accept this reward. Accept this new love. Accept this new opportunity because you know what, Pisces? You worked really hard to get here. Even if you don't feel there's a little bit of you that's that's been your... Oh, God, I have a cramp in my foot. I'm sorry. There's a little bit of your shine that's been dulled. Go ahead and jump into this light anyway. And let's go over to Tarot. We'll articulate some more. Continue the journey with me over there. The link is below.